This is Ike Feldman with CBS Sports Radio's Outside the Cage. Again, if you notice, I'm wearing the same outfit. It's been a long-ass day. Spoke to one Kamozi. Spoke to Steven Seiler of Factory X. I got to catch you, Mark Montoya. But we're joined by another Kamozi, Brian Kamozi. Brian, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. How about yourself? First person all day who responded, Dwayne Lugwood, Eric Anders, the other Kamozi. Nobody's asked. But thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Well, how you doing on a Friday in Denver, man? It's fight week. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm just here running sparring for these guys at Factory X. Um, obviously, Coach Mark is out with some of the guys that are fighting tomorrow. So uh, just kind of running shop tonight. Yeah, I mean, you're a coach for one of the most gnarliest sports, mixed martial arts, yet you keep your calm, you're not a hair out of place. Like, is this just, uh, are you guys from Denver? Or are you guys uh, actually from California, correct? Correct, yep, yep. Okay, so the laid back mentality come over. It's a sparring night. Is Can you just feel love or do you, does everybody know that it's combat time, we got to turn it on? Is there, is there a complete switch? Uh, it depends on the guy, man. Um, some guys, you know, come in and it's it's just another day. Other guys got to get in the mindset, and you'll see them kind of pacing around and look like they're getting all amped up, like it's a fight. So, it varies person to person, but for the most part, everybody's good. You know, even if they're going hard, they're not trying to hurt anybody. So, nice. um, what would what advice would you uh, ask Chris? The same question. What advice would you ask a young fighter who's coming in who maybe wants to prove himself? Maybe you have to push the ego side. Like, what would you tell him? Like on one of his first sparrings? Because, dude, this is my first drop in on a sparring night. It, it was fun to watch. Yeah, it's always a ton of fun to watch. It's basically like watching fights, except you get to do it every week. For young fighters, man, I think the biggest thing, like you said, is push the ego aside. I mean, that's not even young fighters. I feel like that's everybody. Coaches, if you've been doing this, you know, 30 years, it doesn't matter. you got to push the ego aside. There's always something to learn. For young fighters, it's just be patient, put in the time, because that's, that's what it's all about. you got to pay your dues a little bit. you got to train every day. got to train harder than the guy that's been training forever. Just keep your head down, nose to the grind, and... and show up you know fantastic man and uh sticking with the the sparring sessions you know a lot i've seen a lot of big names come out through this uh through this gym Devonte smith who's obviously fighting uh ufc denver 25th anniversary card anthony smith obviously zach cummins eric anders all coming through uh can you see the young people or maybe the the early pros do they step it up more when a big ufc star comes through the doors <laughs> that one varies guy to guy again you'll see some guys get a little starstruck and it you know, they'll completely change what they're doing. Other guys, you know, are, are middle of the road and they just, you know, have a good training session. And then you get the, the knuckleheads that are like, well, I'm going to prove I can take that guy. <laughs> so you get the full gamut. It's always interesting to watch. It makes it a little interesting. Nice. And um, uh, switching subject, uh, subjects, again, we're being joined by uh, Brian Camozzi, Factory X Gym. Um, where do you see the future going? Because you're obviously, you're you're part of the grooming process. You know, you got a, probably a lot of 20 to 25 year olds just getting into their first MMA gym. Where do you see the future coming? Have you seen the athletes step up or is it just maybe they're more wiser? It, as Connor's presence affected the game is what I'm basically saying. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you see a lot of guys are trying to go the, uh, am I allowed to cuss during this? Fuck yeah. All right. You see a lot of guys going the shit talk route and you know, it's funny you mentioned Connor. Anybody wearing suits yet to the gym? <laughs> No suits yet, thank God. I, God, I'm going to lose it the day someone shows up in a suit. It's ridiculous. Um, sure, all right, God. But, yeah, you see the guys kind of gearing towards the shit talk and trying to create a persona, and it is what it is. You know I mean? During the classes in here or, like, in their fights? In fights, you'll see guys do it jokingly in here. Um, you know, some guys will get the swag going with each other and they'll talk shit, but it, it's in good fun here. You don't see anyone really get out of hand with it, but the, the influence is definitely there. It's It showed up. Nice. And um, can you share a, a crazy gym story? You could say Fighter X versus Fighter Y, but is there anything crazy that's happened under the, the roof of Factory X? You and Mark get at it? <laughs> it's really mainly trying to pick one. There's, there's a lot. Uh, fighter X, Fighter Y, nobody knows. <laughs> I've seen a fighter freak out and Hulk Hogan out of his shirt. I mean, literally Hulk Hogan and grip it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, you know, you get, you get the freak outs and the, the yelling and the screaming. Uh, it, you know, it's always fun. There's, God, I can't even pick one out. There's a lot that happened. I can't trust you because you don't trust me. Come on, man, give me something. All right. So, same fighter that Hulk Hogan out of a shirt in the same incident. His glove was on the ground. He kicked his glove across the gym and definitely hit a little kid in the head with it. Kid was fine. Didn't hurt the kid. It was a boxing glove, but it was funny to watch. Jeez, little kid CT. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's talk something more positive. I just went to uh, – this song's on repeat. Everybody likes Drake too much in your gym, man. Yeah, is, is it, too much. 
I'm a sidetracker right now. Is whose playlist is this? Uh, Austin, Austin Jones. All right. Do we get any rock in here? Do we? Is it any house music? Or do we just rap? What's going on, Austin? Mostly rap. Yeah. Wait, the NFL player, the guy no, who fought. Oh. No. Okay, that's not. The, was there an Austin Jones who fought um Greg Hardy? Okay, then it's not the same Austin Jones. All right, because that was bad on the Contender Series. Uh, what I was going to say is I went to Dwayne Ludwig's gym. I've been around the Glory Gym. <clears throat> Do you guys feel a sense of, like, competitiveness between the gyms that we want to grab the prospects? Are you just open door? You're not worried about it? And if you see the guys at events, you know, UFC Denver's coming up just a couple hours away. Uh, are you guys just cool if you saw another gym owner on the street or do you guys like hold grudges? No, not at all, especially in Denver. I feel like it's a pretty close-knit community. There's a lot of gyms here and you know, obviously okay. local fights and everything even international all over the country Whatever we run into these guys all the time um, Everyone's got a pretty good relationship as far as I'm aware There's no grudges going on unless it's coming in on the other side, but no, we see see these guys all the time It's always friendly, you know, so yeah, no problem Nice, because it's like people will try to stir that up, and I'm just excited. The whole, like, uh, martial arts is a language, in my opinion. It's like a worldly language, and it, it's just I think we need to get back to the humble fighter. I was happy Khabib won. I was not happy that he jumped over the cage. Do you feel that uh, maybe fighters, they're trying a little too hard to, to get in the f somebody's face or stir it up or gym drama? They're trying to post foreign footage. In your opinion, just... It's a little ugly, in my opinion. What do you see the direction going in towards of social media and fighter, uh, fighter rivalries and gym rivalries? I like it if you're good at it. You know, a guy like Connor, he's good at it. I enjoy watching it. I find it hilarious. You know, the guys that are trying to force it, if that's not your thing, then, then don't do it. Like, I was never good at that. I'm not good at talking shit to people. Don't, don't do it. But the guys that are quick-witted, that are good at it, that make it funny, I, I love watching it. So you would uh, accentuate it. Uh, accentuate it. Accentuate it. It's been a long day. Accentuate it. Um, like if a fighter is in sparring or is in fighting, as long as it doesn't cost them, you say just flow with it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, if you can still perform and do everything that you're supposed to do, why not? And uh, do you want to give any plugs for upcoming fighters, uh, fights coming up? Yeah, I mean, up recently, so tonight we've got Brandon Royval. He's the main event uh, fighting for the interim flyweight title with LFA. So good luck, Brandon. I'll be watching you here shortly. Um, we got a bunch of people on the UFC Denver card tomorrow. We've got uh, Mark De La Rosa. We got Macy Barber and Devontae Smith all fighting. So those are the immediate ones. I'm sure there's a ton coming up in the next couple weeks. We typically have guys fighting every week. So those are the, the first ones up. And, uh, yeah. Great. Good luck, man. And, Brian, thank you for inviting me. It was actually Chris into uh, Factory X. And uh, Brittany's behind the camera. Like I said, the whole Kamozi family's here. Thank you, Brian. No problem. Appreciate you having me. You got to do the handshake on me.